everyone, so today's video is going to be a bit different than my others because this is not a writing video, this is actually going to be a cooking video and in fact a vegan cooking video, so a whole bunch of new things for me. I have been feeling a bit out of touch with my creativity the last few weeks and so I just wanted to create something that I was excited to edit and so I made a bit of like a small compilation of me making three recipes that also happen to be vegan. I wasn't really setting out to make them vegan, I'm not vegan myself. It's gonna be three different recipes from three different cuisines and right now I'm working on tofu fresh rolls which are Vietnamese and so I started off by cutting up some tofu and then in a pan I just added whatever was left of some sesame oil and some olive oil and I'm just gonna fry up the tofu a bit because crispy tofu is like the best tofu. Off camera, I don't know if you can see, I definitely salted these but I didn't put too much seasoning on the tofu itself because I feel like the star of the show is kind of the sauce which is quite salty in itself but always use salt on your food, very important. The sauce itself is made out of hoisin sauce and then a little bit of soy sauce and some peanut butter and I prefer to actually put in some freshly chopped like whole peanuts inside of the sauce but I didn't have any. Well I did but then it was like unopened and so I didn't feel like opening the can for this but it was honestly okay without the crunchy peanuts but I don't know I just felt like making these fresh rolls because they're really good and I have been making these but with like the fire noodles on the inside and it's really good but for the filling on the inside like the greens it's just lettuce and then some herbs I think the traditional is probably cilantro and basil I definitely had basil I have no idea what the other one I put in there was but I was like you know what this will be fine and it, it tasted fine I don't know what it was and then the filling also consists of some vermicelli noodles and so I just soaked those they cook up really fast and then I just cut them up with the scissors and then it was just assembly so if you've never made these before you have to soak the rice paper in like some warm to hot ish water for like a few seconds and then that will make it pliable and then I put down the tofu first and then like the salad mix and then I put the noodles on top and then I fold it I'm not like the best at folding these things and I definitely busted a few off of camera <laughs> which was really annoying it's you get better after practice but these were really fun to make and they were really yummy they honestly don't take that long and I had a lot of fun filming the process of making the fresh rolls. So on to the next recipe which is some black bean tacos and so I started with chopping up onions and like that's where all good recipes start like on I didn't use a recipe for any of these I should say that but all good cuisine garlic and onions. So I started by chopping those two things up. I used half an onion. And then I took half a habanero, I think it was, because that's what the packaging said. And I, I, I could have made it spicier. I just, I used half for some reason. I just chopped that up quite finely. And for the seasonings, I used primarily cumin, a bit of paprika, and some garlic powder and so I had to grind up the cumin because mine was like whole. And then I just opened the can of beans and I started off by frying the onions first. Key to good recipes. Fry the onions first and then I added the habanero and then after that I like just cooked it out for a bit and then I added the garlic last because I thought that might burn the quickest, I don't know. And then I added the spices just to cook them up a bit and that will release more flavor. So I used like a teaspoon of each or so, I just kind of eyeballed it and I got the proportions right but just like adjust to taste. And then I added, I don't know how many beans that were, maybe like half a cup of black beans and then I mashed them when that warmed through. And now I'm making guacamole. And so then I took the rest of that onion and I chopped up half of it. I didn't end up using the full half. So you don't need to do like the full half and then also more garlic. 
like when all else fails onion garlic that's how you make things taste good and then you can't really see because my hand was in the way but i'm chopping up cherry tomatoes because i didn't feel like using a whole tomato and that was really good the amount that i made i basically just took one avocado which was like pretty brown i'll say i don't know if i was supposed to eat it but it tasted fine i mashed it and i just mixed everything together with a little bit of lime and that was really self-explanatory but the amount of guacamole i made was like perfect and i took corn tortillas and i warmed them up first you need to warm them up first if not they're gonna like crack everywhere and that that would be bad and then i added the bean filling inside and then i just like folded it over and then i fried it in a bit more olive oil you probably don't need to use oil i've seen some people baking these but like it tastes better that way and so then i just fried it for a few minutes on both sides until golden and then they were like done and that was really good I have never had like bean tacos before, but these were so good. I had it with a whole bunch of hot sauce and then obviously the guacamole and it was delicious. I will make them in the future. So the next recipe is actually a Thai recipe and that is for these little dessert kind of things called look chup. I might be saying that wrong. They're essentially like Thai marzipan and that starts out with mung beans and so I soaked those for about like a day and a half because I was like too lazy to to make the paste on like the next day. So you really only need to soak them overnight. You're not supposed to boil them. The recipe which I'll link that recipe because I finally used a recipe for that one. It says steam them. Let me know if I'm like doing it awful because I've never actually had like authentic look chup. and then you just blend up the beans, some coconut milk, and some sugar. And I use a Vitamix for that, or you could use a food processor. And you wanna blend it like for a while, like five minutes or so until it gets really smooth. And it'll be basically like the smoothness of like a cake batter. And then you put this in a nonstick pan and you'll stir it for like 40 minutes on low heat. It was a workout towards the end when it got really thick, my arm still hurts. But you know, it's a labor of love and they're so delicious. And if you've never had these before, they they're like unlike anything else the texture is just so satisfying so i actually was lazy to shape them that day so i put them in the fridge so you can see me kind of warming up the dough in my hands the next day which was actually the day that i'm recording this voiceover and you just make them into a whole bunch of shapes if you're like not sure what shapes to do just search up pictures of these things and a whole bunch of ideas will pop up i did pears of peach mangoes and peppers and then you take some food coloring put it in some water and then start coloring the little look chup and you have to do a few layers of food coloring if you don't want to like use all your food coloring like at once inside of the water to get it concentrated because i didn't have that much food coloring i used quite a few layers on that i think three or four layers it's quite time consuming to color them but it's a lot of fun and then you will take some agar agar powder dissolve that in some water add some sugar boil that up and then you create like this glaze and that's really really important don't skip out on the glaze part because it, it's not going to be the same essentially the glaze creates this outer coating it's it's not hard or anything agar agar is similar to gelatin it just has more of like a cr crunchy but have you ever seen people like squishing orbeez that's kind of like the texture of agar agar and it also adds a beautiful shine so it'll make your beautiful labor of love look even more beautiful so don't skip out on that part i hope you enjoy Maybe I'll do another one of these in the future. What have you guys been eating lately? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!